Insolvency means the inability to pay one's debt as they fall due. Evidence has emerged in various studies that access to and cost of finance in Africa is a major obstacle to economic growth and development. There is limited access to long-term financing, while most firms only rely on short-term lines of creditors, which come at an even higher price. Caption 67 of the Constitution requires companies that fail to pay their debts to file for bankruptcy. The company can also carry out a liquidation, but if all this fail, then it winds up. Major General Kahindo Tafire, the Minister for Constitutional Affairs, while officiating at a workshop intended at sensitizing on insolvency systems within the East African region, tasked participants to formulate practices that will make the insolvency law applicable in Uganda. She made proposals to set benchmarks for the regulation minimum, for the regional minimum standards for insolvency transactions. And the Common Markets Protocol to facilitate trade and investment across the borders. This approach should roll over to all the southern African uh, to all, all the southern African development economic community. The head of Commercial Court Kampala Justice Geoffrey Chilavre says that current laws in Uganda are weak and don't help much companies when they are heavily faced with debts. He says the insolvency law will be in addition to commercial laws in Uganda since the country's strong laws for effective management of current economic trends. Insolvency Act, which is really the main theme of this workshop, is a welcome addition to our commercial laws in Uganda because we are trying to reform uh, the commercial laws to make uh, business and commerce more predictable and more understandable, uh, especially as Uganda becomes a bigger player in the world uh, market. The acting registrar general, Bisere Kochom Hendo, says his office is to set to do a criterion which is to be followed while applying for insolvency. It should be done in a humane manner, legally. Once you go through that process, it is not meant to punish you but to rehabilitate you so that after that process you come back and resume life start working again the participant include representative from east and southern africa the world bank the law fraternity accountants and insolvency regulators narakozali dia nbs business platinum news